All right, what's going on, you guys? Nick here with Nick from The Power. So I'm going to make a video about another pro bodybuilder that was very successful throughout the 80s and 90s, um, and his career would really come to an end after joining Vince McMahon's WBF Bodybuilding Federation. And this bodybuilder was Mike Christian. Now, Mike Christian really is one of the more impressive bodybuilders to come out of the 1980s because his upper body was really one of the best in the game. Um, and probably the main thing that would let him down at the majority of these competitions would probably be his leg size. Now, Mike Christian actually had a relatively short career with the IFBB, lasting only about five years. But during that five-year span, he competed in 22 competitions, winning five of those. Um, so winning five major pro shows in the IFBB. Um, and some of those competitions were Olympia appearances, every single one of which he placed in the top six. So 85, 86, 87, 89, and 90, he competed in the Olympia all of those years, placing within the top six every single year. And his best placing at the Olympia would be a third place finish in 1986. And many people still say to this day that Mike Christian back in the day um, when he was competing at the Olympia, this was during the reign of Lee Haney. Um, and a lot of people still say to this day, he was one of the few guys that had the upper body size and the upper body structure to really rival a guy like Lee Haney. But then again, once you go back down to the lower body, it just really wasn't there to the point where he could ever beat Lee. Um, but in terms of overall size throughout that upper body, um, he was very comparable to Lee Haney, and he had a very aesthetic physique. So going into 1991, that would be where you would see Mike Christian's career with the IFBB come to an end. So in 1991, Vince McMahon held the first ever WBF World Bodybuilding Federation Championships. So in 1991, Mike Christian actually fared very, very well at that competition, placing second to Gary Stridham. Now, obviously, Gary Stridham won both years of the WBF Championships, and I made a video about Gary Stridham um, a couple weeks ago, actually, talking about how Vince McMahon kind of picked Gary Stridham to be the guy, um, kind of his own Arnold Schwarzenegger in a sense. He thought he would be the guy that could help bring down the IFBB. He could be, you know, his star bodybuilder. He had the looks, he had the physique. And Vince really seemed to think that Gary Stridham had what it took to be kind of the next big star like Arnold Schwarzenegger. And that's kind of what a lot of people thought he was doing with Gary. Um, but Mike Christian would take second in 1991. Um, and then in 1992, he wouldn't even be in the top five. And then in 1992, obviously, the WBF was not successful, so it would end in 1992. And from that point forward, Mike Christian's bodybuilding career would essentially come to an end. So that brings me to the kind of then and now portion of this video. So Mike Christian is currently 63 years old as of 2018. Um, so recently, he's been back in the gym and working on his physique. And he actually still has maintained a pretty significant amount of muscle for a 63-year-old man. Um, so I wanted to give you guys some perspective and show you guys what he accomplished throughout his you know, professional bodybuilding career in the 80s and 90s and show you what he still looks like today um, as of 2018, almost 30 years um, past the prime of his bodybuilding career. So that is the video on Iron Mike Christian, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Please give the video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Nick Strength and Power, signing out.